my cup of tea. And hang on, I just want to quickly check something on OBS. Okay. Whew. I was shit myself. I was like, I, I, I don't remember activating the recording. Um, but I did, so it's fine. Um, because as I say, the recordings that I'm uploading you to YouTube are slightly better quality. At least I think they are. Uh, than the VODs. They certainly seem to have less compression. But yeah, okay, real. Let's get gangin. Reforge the Golder amulet. Nah. We've got like a random Warhammer and Battleaxe here, those just aren't worth it though. Now then, again, I have no idea where the switch for this thing is, and I live in eternal fear that it's going to trigger and slice the ever-loving fuck out of me every time I walk up there. Okay, well, here we go. I'm actually just gonna quickly have some pizza first. Fine. As soon as them red dots appear, I think I'm gonna bust out the poison resist. We've got four, which is less than we had last time, but we didn't use all the ones we had last time, so. Um. Okay, we're in combat. The question is, I think I kind of want to use... Because I only brought one Nox Scroll, which, thinking about it, it was a bit dumb. But I think I want to use it on this. Because this is, like, guaranteed return. So I'm just going to use the Nox right now. Helmet. Faint resist shock. There we go. Nice. Decent. This is still locked, right? Yeah. Thought so. And a uh, Lock skill book. Nice. I'll take it. Oh, that's the steel bolts that I dropped. Okay, cool. And we already searched all of this, of course. Yeah. Hey, oh, hang on, small Dwemer plate metal. Isn't that the really good one? Yeah, that's the really good one. That's the one which gives you, like, a shit ton of Dwemer metal. Okay. That one's worth picking up. So now, the wizard is usually the one that makes it to the top first. Or often the one which makes it to the top first. Um, so we need to be super careful here. Poison resist starts off immediately. Unfortunately, Upgird... Not immune to uh, paralysis, and therefore there's a decent chance that she's just gonna, yeah, go off the edge. Happens all the fucking time. Sayonara, that's good. Hopefully you'll kill people on the way up. Um. Oh. Shit, okay. I just heard the wizard there. This is not the wizard, though. Oh my word, okay, we are quite low on health. Ah, uh, there's the fucking wizard, okay, um, shit. Good, I mean, these guys have a high chance of dropping good healing potions. This is when we go to the Ring of Nullification. And we bust out our crossbow. And try and take this guy out with the bow. Alright, that seems to have worked. Good. He decided to just stand there and roar instead of actually attacking us. Which I appreciate. I do. I think that's very helpful of him. Um, back to the ring and a mirror. And actually, come to think of it, I should have eaten the person on top of this uh, tower. Yeah, that's good. It's gone over. Um, there's nothing we can do about that, but there's a decent chance, I think, that she kills people on her way back up. Uh, that, that's pretty much guaranteed to happen, I think, because she has no resistance to paralysis. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Um, arguably also a tactic. You just let Earthgur do that, and then she'll slowly make her way back up to me. Constantly um, healing, by the by. Oh, look, she's aggroed everyone downstairs. Yeah, so she's fighting people downstairs. Does mean all of them are, like, perma-aggroed right now, which ain't ideal, but... Ooh, that's a good fucking haul. Uh, yeah, let's just try not to get knocked off by that. 
a random piston right there. Yeah, so we want to we want to burn through this area as quickly as possible because we have a limited duration. We will not forget you, Earthgird. You will be missed. Yeah, she will be missed. Um, temporarily, until she comes back, having murdered like half the Bulma downstairs. <laughs> Which again, I uh, is something I appreciate about her. Her dedication. Imagine if I could just have her fall down and then just blast her with a healing ray from up here. That would be hilarious. Oh, Skeever. What? Okay, I'm going to shoot this one. Uh, fuck. Why are you so hard to hit, you little shitbag? Damn it. Okay, well, that's just annoying. Never mind. Now, I don't think there's another wizard in this room. I think I always think there is, but there actually isn't. Oh, hello. Oh, good hit. Oh, these guys have, like, knockdown on their shield bashes, if I remember rightly. So I've got to be super careful about that. Random Orichalcum Ore. Cool. Uh, I'm probably not going to bother with it. There we go. This is the shit we came here for, but we're not using any of it just yet because we need to deal with our enemies. So, Fulmer, number one. Yeah. That skeever seems to have aggroed, like, a shit ton of dudes, which is an extremely irritating thing for it to have done. Have we trained this level already? Does anyone remember? Did we already train this level? Level 16? I think we did, right? A bunch of heavy armor training? Maybe not. I'm not going to bother. We will sing songs about you. Yeah! Why the fuck not? Oh, yeah, better crossbow. That's something I'm going to pick up here. Uh, do we have, like, a minor healing potion? Yeah, thanks. We can come back and loot this whole place later. Um, I'll pick up the healing potions, but that's about it. For now. Wow, that's a lot of enemies. Hello, bud. Oh, oh god, there's loads of them. Oh my god, there's loads of them. Um, never mind. I just came around this corner into hell. Jesus. Okay. Well, that was bad. I was not expecting there to just suddenly be four of them lurking around that fucking corner. Especially not when one of them's a goddamn frosty wizard. I don't want to fight him. Not close range, anyway. Not near enough that he can hit me, put it that way. Got him. Fuck you, up. There we go. Okay, up good falling down was less good this time, because she seems to have aggroed an entire army of Fulmer. Um, which are going to be tough to fight on their own. Like, okay, I'm just going to redo the resist poison just in case. Because I do not want this to spontaneously run out while I'm in the middle of getting bombarded by these motherfuckers. Because it's the poison that's doing all the damage. Let's not, let's not, you know, pretend it ain't. Even with 75% resist, this is getting kind of nuts. And this is why we kept all of the bolts is because I knew we were going to use a lot of them. Admittedly not, I wasn't anticipating this many this fast, but, you know, we, if we've got them, we can fucking use them, right? Um, I'll just not bother looting these guys for now. What is that red dot? I don't know. And also, can I just point out that a load of red dots just disappeared? Oh no, they didn't, they moved over there. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, I think uthgurt has been killing them, but uh, no, she hasn't. They're just over in this direction. Um, okay, that's a wizard. Hey! That is Uthgurt fighting a wizard! Don't get your fucking knockdown on me, mate. Okay, shit. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, we want to back up here. Oh my god, they're right behind me. But we want to get it. Break the line of sight of the, uh, the wizard guy. Okay, yeah. More healing items, more healing. Let's go remarkable. Fuck it. You want to heal, you always got to heal preemptively. Things get really bad, I can bust out the power of life. That's what it's for. Okay, there is the wizard. Right, so now we want to put on... And wizard's taking half health. Okay, quick ring of nullification. And then 
One shot will do it. Yes. That was Uthgurt. That was Uthgurt. That's why it was on such low uh, such low health. It's because Uthgurt wrecked the fuck out of it. Deformer eat people. Yeah. It's strongly implied that they do, at least. Um, that's very good. I'll take that. Oh, fuck. Yeah, don't no, Stop it. That was, so, that was such a good stagger, man. That was an insanely good stagger. Otherwise, I might have been in trouble. Um, but yeah, no, there's like random human flesh that they've carved out of the bodies down here. Which suggests that they eat people. Or at least they use the flesh for something, right? Um, unclear exactly what it is. Oh, that's the fucking skeever. Okay, you know what, mate? You've caused me enough trouble. There we go. Alrighty then. I get to eat another person. Woohoo! It's worth noting that yes, follow oh fuck. I'm locked into the eating animation. Shit! Can we move, please? Thank you. Jesus Christ, that animation's longer than I remember. It's fine, we'll kill him. Oh, what the shit? Fucking hell. Dodge the power attack, the little bastard. We're fine. Everything else looks to be dead, because it looks like uh, Uthgurt managed to get to them. Yeah, that's like a load of human flesh laid out here, see? So they've carved them... I, unclear whether they were, like, intending to eat them, but they were certainly carving them up for something. Um... Yeah. There's a scroll, there's dwarven oil, and a silver ingot. Those are pretty much the only things worth picking up. Am I over encumbered, really? Wow. Um... That's good. Now would be a great time for you to just randomly show up. Oh, she's paralyzed. She's perma-paralyzed. What? We're out of combat, that's good. Hmm. Maybe she's not out of combat. I am, but I'm not sure about her. Okay. Let's drop some heavy stuff. Yeah, like this helmet, for example. Are there any enemies left here? I'm not seeing any. It looks like she's killed them all, right? So why is she still paralyzed? That looks like a glitch, unfortunately. Um. Oh, no. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, there is still one. Is it the spider? Was the spider alive? And it, Oh, it was alive. It just didn't look like it was. Okay, she's still in combat with the spider, I think. That's why. Um, cool. I shouldn't need poison resist to kill this thing. I'm good enough at killing them as is. Good enough at dodging them, I should say. Okay. No more enemies, that's good. You can... Can stand back up now. <laughs> uh, she's glitched to fuck. That's unfortunate. Um, I can try and fix it with console commands. Unless it's just like a really long duration poison, which I guess it might be. Yeah, I'm not sure what I can do about that. It looks like a glitch. But it's very hard to tell with this game. Because <laughs> some stuff that is absolutely working as intended does look like a glitch. Yeah, I'm going to try enable disable, see if that, that deals with whatever the fuck's going on here. I'll save first, just because don't want this to fuck everything up. Uh... Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. Cool, okay. Yeah, I think that was a I, I'm pretty sure that was a glitch, right? That, that really, really seemed like a glitch. Because uh, normally they remain paralyzed until the end of combat. And then they, they like, unparalyze. Um, okay. Let's keep going. Because we're going to do this final room and then we're going to make our way back out. Oh, Venomous Spittle, that's actually worth money. 
Yeah, there's literally no more Volma left that could have been uh, aggroed on Uthgird. So there's no particular reason why she would have been frozen in that animation. Ah, oh, hey, there's that random wizard that I killed way, way at the top of this area. Why are they always empty, you motherfucker? Whatever. And yeah, again, we're gonna we're gonna loot the Centurion and then get the fuck out of there. I want to load off a, a lot, as much of my encumbrance as possible onto Earthgood. What do you need to take? Because I don't remember. Oh, what? Hang on, what? What? Sorry, why can't why can't Earthgood carry any more? What's Leader, going on? We've stopped. What is? What do you need to take? Okay, that's bugged. What? Lead on then. That's weird. That's really, really weird and really, really a problem. What the fuck? Was it the disabled enable that did that? I don't know. I'm still here. What do you need to take? I can only give her things that weigh zero. Okay. Lead on then. That's really, really weird. Um, really weird. Oh, it's a chassis boy. Forgot about that. That's good. It's going to trigger the trap. Yeah. <laughs> Saw that coming. It's going to make looting this guy really awkward, but... Oh, shit. Really risky. Just stay on the left. Stay on the left. Stay on the left. Don't trigger the trap. That's good. You're going to trigger the trap. No, we're good. Okay, cool. Disable enable again. I'm going to try, but I'm going to deal with the enemies first, because I have... I'm testing whether loading a different area makes it go away. Don't see that every day. Um. There's Wizard Boy. Nice. That was a. That was the most beautiful sneak attack I think I've ever done. Um. Okay, we want our final resist poison here. Yep. Need to make sure not to accidentally aggro the Centurion. There we go. I've got him. And then the Frostbite Spider should be easy enough. Well, okay. Now let's try this again. Let's get going. What do you need to take? Yeah, okay. Loading a different area works. I have no idea. I think that it's. I think it was the disable enable that caused it. I think something to do with the disable enable caused her to like glitch out until we went into a different zone. Um, that's what I think happened. I've got a bunch of crap that I should have just left on my horse, don't I? Oh, uh, well, um... Okay. Le and then. That's good, it's tired of carrying your shit because you tried to kill her. I didn't try to kill her. If I tried to kill her, I would have succeeded. I'm not half assing that shit. Common. Again, they're worth a lot of money, but I, I hate picking up individual arrows. I always forget that that thing's down here. Okay, cool. Insanely valuable crossbow. What do you need Despite to the fact that its damage is very, very low, right? Yeah, 39. Look at that. Look at that. 39. Bonkers. I don't understand why Leave light crossbow's damage... You pushed her over the edge. I saw it. <laughs> maybe, uh, maybe figuratively. Hmm. I mean, this is a lot of money, if we can carry it all, which is kind of a big if. Um, and it's mostly dependent on Earthgood. Earthgood, are you, you coming up here or what? Hmm? Nope, she's just stuck at the bottom. Okay, that's fine, I guess. Yes, that's just what we're doing now. Um, close. Further, like here maybe. A bit further back, or a bit further onwards. 
Hard to tell. Onwards? Yeah, onwards. Nice. More dwarven armor. We're not going to be able to take all of this, I don't think. We can try, but um, that's good. How much of this can you carry? Because the more important stuff is, is still upstairs. Uh, so I think much of this we're not going to be able to. Let's see how much she can take. Oh, she can't even take both of those things. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I want that. Thank you. So yeah, I'm going to take the dwarven armor. I'm not going to bother with the dwarven armor, I think. The, just the unenchanted shit, I'm not going to bother with. Because, it like, well, obviously that. But um, I want to keep the enchanted stuff and the stuff I'm actually going to use. But this stuff is just a bit too heavy. Um, Let's go. Just leave it back in this chest, I think. Who knows, maybe we'll come back here and pick it up later, but... Not likely to happen, I don't think. Check that chest already. Wizard man, I managed to somehow get with a sneak attack critical, which was unexpected and fantastic. Um, then we've got this random, there's like an apprentice lock chest back here. And then there's, there is a chest in the area with the Centurion. I'm going to see if I can get to the chest without aggroing the Centurion. I think I can. Especially if I sneak. Um, but I don't want to risk losing out on the uh, the actual Centurion corpse. Left. No. Right. Bunch of empty soul gems, which is, uh, you know, empty soul gems is fine. I'll take empty soul gems. Filled soul gems would be better, but empty soul gems are fine. Uh, I don't think there's any more chests down here, other than the ones, obviously, but beyond this barrier. But that's when we're getting into the real danger zone. Um, okay, because there is a chest over here that I might be able to get without aggroing the Centurion, and I'm not sure. I'm going to try, but the instant I hear that noise, I'm going to have to- yes, okay, we can get to it. It's expert locked, fuck! And I used my one knock scroll! Shit, okay. We don't get the chest then, whoop. Uh, dynamo core, oil, small dormer plate, because that's the really valuable one. Bye! So long, motherfucker! Don't see why Uskurd is so knocked about me uh, trying to kill her, given that she clearly is trying to kill herself by openly fighting that Centurion. Uh, an action which, in the world of Requiem, can only be considered as suicide. Okay, cool. Charging a Centurion without Storm Atronarch backup. Make our way back. We want to get out of the combat by sneaking, and then I'll teleport as good to me once the combat is finished. Cool. Uh, looks like it looks like we're stuck in because of us good, but yeah, uh, as is standard for this situation. Quick, quick little prid, and move to is good enough. You are. Uthgird? Uth Uthgird? Excuse me, where the fuck is your greatsword? Hang on, okay, she's locked in combat. Okay, one moment. Um... There we go. No, she's locked in combat. Why is she locked in fucking combat? I thought this bug was because she was in combat. Is this separate? Okay, um... This is really annoying. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? Maybe if we go into the next step, Maybe if we go back into the area, it'll stop? I don't know. 
I'm going to try changing zones. Because the Centurion shouldn't have made it this far. Oh, cool. No. Okay. Just took a little bit of time. That's fine. Now, Uthgird, where the fuck is your greatsword? I'm still here. What do you need to take? It's there! You're just using the fucking sword and staff instead, because you're an idiot. Okay, fine. Um. Cool. Yeah, there's a pretty much a hard limit to how much we can carry right now, but Let's go. there's a fairly limited amount of stuff we actually want from here anyway, so we can absolutely prioritize. Um, ooh, I don't think I've ever been in here. There's nothing in here. That was pointless. Good potion? Nah, shame. I think this is where the books are, right? No, the books are on the level above. Um, bloody rags, etc, etc. I think actually that good down here, this is just, you know, the way back up. Um, I think there's a dagger here, but it's unenchanted, so yeah, we don't care. Grab the two books. Glass and ebony. Uh, yeah, there's not really much to say about this segment. I'm just going around hoovering up the loot that we already had. Maybe I should have hoovered it up on the way down, because I forgot that the only way out was... Um, that elevator. That's good, just ran through the fire because she's a genius, I assume. Struggling to figure out how to move around fire and decides to just charge straight through it. There's the Dwarven Smithing Book. God, this place is so fucking good for the Smithing Books, man. And for the first time, I don't have to steal the Dwarven Smithing Book. Because I did the lower levels of Althand before I got to 25 Smithing. That feels pretty good. Um, Is there a third body there? No, it's hard to tell. But it looks like no. You should talk about how much you hate Uthgird and how you've been <laughs> planning to kill her this whole time. Yeah. Fucking earth good, eh? Jeez. Oh, God, what a dick. What a, oh, oh my God. Sorry. I, 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 different, different earth good. Different earth good. I wasn't, I wasn't talking about you. Hopefully she didn't overhear too much of that. Um, shield. Does the, the helmet. I think I dropped a helmet somewhere around here, didn't I? So that, but this is what we wanted, right? This enchanted shit. Guaranteed to spawn. Pretty fucking potent. We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? Uh, I'm gonna give her the health uh, and the boots and the gauntlets. Wow, she can just carry all of this. Damn. That's good. It's a tank. Unfortunately, not tanky enough. Uh, yeah, I think I'm just gonna ditch the regular armor. I think that's probably the best thing to ditch in terms of like efficiency. Let's go. Because the rest of this is all enchanted. What do you need to take? Cool. And I think Let's that's go. pretty much everything we wanted to get from down here. There's a bunch of, like, unenchanted dwarven crap, but that's kind of it. Because, yeah, there's nothing else up here. Apart from maybe a couple of Fulmer corpses, but I already looted those. So, yeah, cool. Let's head back out. That'd be cool if NPCs could hear you. Yeah, you know what else would be cool? It would be if video games were real and we existed in the video games and we could live within the video games and do things like that. But that's not how the world works. And I mean, that would only be cool up to a point, because then you, you know, the classic, if you die in the game, you die in real life. And that, that's not a price I'm willing to pay. Don't get me wrong, I like permadeath. Uh, but real life is tough enough as it is without having, attempting to do a uh, permadeath run with my actual life on the line. Hmm. <clears throat> 
We have the technology for this, though, at least basic commands. True, yeah, there is voice recognition software. Um, it's something that would be possible to implement. The question is, like, to what extent? It seems to me like the, the technology at the moment is so basic that it would be more of a gimmick than an actual mechanic. And with voice recognition, even modern voice recognition technology, there's always the problem of accents. Like, a Scotsman trying to play a game with voice recognition software? That would not go well for them. I think the technology needs to be quite a bit more advanced. More capable of understanding different accents and... We need to have the kind of t technology to more easily program in responses to a wide variety of uh, commands. kind of made out like a bandit there. And most importantly, we got the one thing that we actually care about, which is that dagger. Well, I say the one thing. There's actually three things. We got the improved crossbow, we got the dagger, and we got the ebony smithing book. Those are the three things that we actually really want from down there. And I guess the health buff armor for us good. Not priority number one, but still pretty good. Come to think of it, there's a guaranteed absorb health sword down there, so I don't actually need to do gold or amulet to get absorb health. I just realized. Ha. Huh. Oh, well. I mean, I want to do gold or amulet anyway, but... Oh, whoops. That's on, on, on my horse. I mean, just, yeah, just, just ride back, I think. Not going to bother with any inventory shuffling. We're just going to head... Oh, actually, sorry. Minor inventory shuffling. I do want that soul trap dagger right now, so I can actually soul trap things if uh, what is what do you need to take? a bunch of random enemies show up. Thank you. And you can take, I don't know, something else. Dynamo core. Why not? Oh, we've got the two grands as Let's well. Go. Of course. Want to dump them on the hoss? And yeah. Let's head out. Probably heading back to Whiterun. Because uh, that's where the smiths have the most money. Although, I think I kind of bought out the smiths already, right? Relatively recently. Potentially a little bit of... Oh, I was about to level up there. That was that was very nearly very dumb. Okay. Uh, this wants to go on the hot bar. That's what I was looking for. Brilliant. So now. I'm going to make our way back past Winterhold. I don't think... Oh, there is a reason to return to Winterhold, which is to get rid of this fucking quest. So let's go do that. And then we want to head to uh, Markarth so we can reforge the Golder Amulet. Actually, yeah, we're going to Markarth anyway, so we might as well sell the stuff in Markarth. Because that is also a two-smith city. That's a fucking vampire. We're not fighting that. No, we are not. He says preparing to fight the vampire. Ooh, this doesn't seem like... It. What's the... Hang on, four red dots? It's not three fucking vampires, is it? Okay, three vampires, no. No, 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 no. Hey, guards, there's a bunch of vampires attacking. If you could come and murder them for me, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. I'm going to ride into the college. If I get me ass bitten by a death hound while I'm stuck on that wall, I'm going to be very annoyed. There we go. Let's just make our way into the college. Not fighting any vampires. Not anytime soon. 
Okay, apparently the entire college is willing to go to bat for me, but no one within the town was, which is a shame. Yeah, okay, cool. Battle's uh, calmed down a little bit now. Let's just go have a word with our good friend, um... I don't know why you're so scared of vampires. Uh... The wisdom of life, my friend. What happened? Oh, you know, I just had some bad run-ins with vampires in the past. Nothing major, nothing major. <clears throat> it's not that I'm scared of them. It's just that, you know, they're not really worth it, right? Yeah, you know, too much hassle to fight. This is not where the Archmage lives. Neither is that. Fuck. Keep going the wrong way. That sword looks really cool, doesn't it? Damn. Damn, damn, damn. There we go. Oh, the encumbrance is going to wear off. You are relatively new here. Oh, uh, yada, yada, yada. Then I am sap. I am Hurry the fuck up, Savoth. You're useless. This is the only thing. The, the only purpose you have in this entire game Please is this conversation. And I thank you for. And then you die. That's it. That's all you do. Speak with U and good work. The next time you find yourself exploring Nordic ruins, perhaps this will be helpful. Fuck you, Savos. Mm -hmm. You're useless. And I hate you. Savos is seriously the worst. The worst fucking. Uh, guild leader in Skyrim. Just period. I mean, Astrid fucking destroys her own guild and she's still better than Sabos. Very. I just wanted to let you know that Ankana. Mirabelle uh, is a fine job. Whatever. Cool, whatever. Oh, I should have sold the staff to Feralda. Whoops. We should have about three minutes left on the beef because that's oh, Arag is not here. I'll uh, see if I can find him like this. There we go. Yeah, he's outside. Cool. Hold up, buy the staff quickly. I can't wait. So, you wish to master the arcane arts? Yes, nice. Until next It's encumbering time. me too much, I don't like it. Um What can I give Frost to make it so that So what's my current encumbrance limit? It's 141 based on that. So I need to get down below 141. Um 144. Forty-two. Oh, I'm ditched loaded the bolts. Uh, yeah, it's, it's twelve. Does that take me down? Yes, good. I have many important things on my mind. Your concerns are not important. Kind of you to tell me that, Ankana. The fact that you were so desperate to tell me that, that you just threw it out when I didn't address you. What are you looking suggests at? Suggests that you have some severe insecurities. Um. I know it. 
Well, you don't even need to add. I said I think one of those volumes may have had some relevant information. If you want them, you'll have to talk to Orthorn. Is Ancana going to cost me? It's normally here costs you as you leave the Arcanium, but um, I'm not in the Arcanium, so I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here. Ooh, I need to check for training. I want to check whether I've trained. I mean, literally any of the wizards will do. Because if I have, a, if I've trained this level, I don't remember. But if I have, I can just level up now, and that's not a problem. I think I have. We should do something to spice things up, Ponderer. Okay, like I'm interested to see what comes after that. You know. They say knowledge is it. I shall explain to you the mysteries I have not. of the outer realm. Got to clear the Golders Amulet dungeon naked. Um, I mean, we could do that. We could do that. Or, uh, we could try and survive. Given that this is my third attempt at this run, and I want to finish the fucking thing. Oh my god, I can't believe I died twice already. Ridiculous. In terms of things like naked, naked, uh, naked dungeons. The problem is you die. That, that is the problem, in fact. It's that one hit and you die. If you're naked. One hit from an ar arrow, you die. One hit from a sword, one power attack from a sword, you die. The, uh, funnily enough, when you're naked, you take a hell of a lot more damage than when you're wearing a full set of enchanted plate armor. Funny. It's, it's, it's a funny thing, odd, odd thing, but uh, it, it is in fact true. Okay. I am actually going to try and clear Fort Castab this time, I think. Bear. I mean, that bear can just live, I think. I don't, I don't have any quarrel with that bear. He's kind of keeping himself to himself. Is this another fucking vampire? No. Random dark elf. Okay. Wearing steel plate armor. No, not steel plate. Just just steel. Oh, whoop, shit. Fucking tiger, man. That stupid pun on the name. Look at that. I'll reflect upon this. Good. What is it? Oh, what is the message that comes up when you level up? You should rest and reflect upon what you have learned. Is that what it says? I don't remember. That's what you should do, though. It's what it, it's that thing, what it says, when, when you've leveled up. Because that way you'll level up in your understanding and you'll realize that, in general, when in combat, it is better to be clothed than naked. Especially if said clothes are made of metal and provide near 85% damage reduction against premature attacks. Okay. The snowstorm is not appreciated right now because it's really buggering my vision. However, the army of storm cloaks to assist me in attacking the um uh what? Sorry, is there a fight going on? Can't see one. The army of storm cloaks to assist me in clearing Fort Castav. That I do appreciate. I'm happy to have that, in fact. I'm gonna wait for them to wander over there, because I've had Talscar assist me with this before, but I've never had like five storm cloaks. That's actually pretty good. I mean, obviously, we're just going to go straight for the magic resistance ring. This place is full of wizards. We're not going to need that much stamina. Have we got a buff active? Namira's blessing, but um, maybe take some apple cabbage. Just for the stamina. I don't think I'm going to need the health. Could you guys walk any slower? I mean, seriously? I'm going to wait for them to aggro the skeleton and then kind of observe from a distance. Oh, have they- hang on, what? What the fuck just happened? The dude at the front just disappeared. Oh my god, he just like teleported back there. What the fuck? I have no idea. Okay, never mind. I can't be bothered waiting. Somebody help. We're gonna clear this place. With or without their help. Now, bear in mind, Mages are still really scary. Also, fuck my, uh, in I'm so close to the encumbrance limit, that's why. Okay, that's a problem. What can I drop? 
in like one stack that unencumbers me. There's nothing, right? Shit. Other than one of the two weapons. Or some of my armor. Okay. Okay, that's good. You charge in first, m'lady. <laughs> m'lady. <laughs> Why the fuck did I go to m'lady? Um. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Why does she keep doing that? Stop doing that, Uthgird. Also, there should be two wizards here. Where's the other one? There's the other one. Nope. That's the archer. Where's the other wi- What? Seriously, where's the other wizard? Did we, like, kill the other wizard already? Looks like Earthgird might have killed the other wizard already, like when we came through here last time. Huh. Wow. Okay. I was not aware of that. I would quite have liked I would have quite liked to loot that person's corpse, as wizards generally have good loot on them. Ah fuck. I'm so I'm far over encumbered. What do you need to take? I need to dump a load of these like potions or something. Um Cool. Let's go. Hopefully she doesn't use them. What was that noise you just made? That was really strange. Don't do that again. Uh, yeah, I have no idea where the other one would be. I guess I, we must have killed it, uh, the other one when we came through here last time, and I just didn't realize that. And of course, you know, it's been ages since we came here, so the body has despawned. Oh, what? Fucking wolves? You little shitbags. <laughs> God damn. Thank you for your complete lack of assistance with the wizards, by the way, you stormcloak pricks. I know you're going to take over this fort as soon as I clear it. You're just hanging around like vultures, waiting for the enemies to be gone so you can swoop in and claim you did something. Disgraceful. Okay, I mean, there's only like one enemy left, which is the wizard. I mean, there's two skeletons as well, but they don't really count, do they? Do I have... Yeah, fuck it. Let's get a soul trap here. Nice. Skellies are a good source of petty souls. Crazy over encumbered, unfortunately. Whoop. Okay, let's. Uh... That was a terrible shot, but whatever. That's good. Are you joining me in this fight or what? Apparently not. Oh, that's kind of scary. Okay. That's good. Would appreciate your help because you're nearly immune to frost. Don't pull out the fucking staff. My god, lady. Okay. Ooh, a solid hit from that would have been kind of nasty. How, where did I take all the damage? I'm actually not sure where all that damage came from. Staff of Ice Storms. I mean, we've got another one. That's good. Do you want to add a second Staff Let's of Ice going. Storms to your stack of Ice Storm Staffs? There we go. You've got two of them now. You can dual wield if you want to. <laughs> Can't believe she keeps using it. That's not why I gave it to you. I didn't give it to you to, to use. Lead on, then. Um... Yeah, bear in mind, my magic resistance is still relatively low. It's only like 30-something percent. I've got the ring on, right? Yeah, 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 of course. Um, but yeah, it's only... With the ring, it's what? 15 plus... Uh, it's actually pretty fucking high, right? 15 plus 18 plus... Um... Oh, the other... Sorry, the other thing I need to remember is that when I'm not... When I switch to my crossbow, my magic resistance goes down by 18% because I don't have the shield equipped anymore. That's a really important detail that I keep forgetting. Is that if I'm tanking spells, I should be... I should have my shield out, not my crossbow. Um...
Yeah. Kind of unfortunate that we missed out on a whole wizard's worth of loot, but... Oh well. What's... Clearing this place was the main priority, so it's not annoying to come back here uh, anymore. I should probably smith more lockpicks as well. I'm running kind of low. There we go. Hmm. Oh, there's a guaranteed Frost Atronarch scroll there. Hmm. Do you remember how we were discussing that maybe Frost Atronarch might be good against Tyrannus? That's a thought. I'm still here. What do you need to take? Just as, like, a minor distraction feature? Um. Check a couple of these books away. Let's go. Skeleton hands somehow catapulted all the way up here. Guaranteed fire salts is the main reason to come through here. So it helps me making dwarven powder. Which I'll be able to do very soon. Especially once I get my uh, smithing improved a little bit. Again, I think I'll be training smithing. Uh, maybe heavy armor. If I can afford it, I'll train heavy armor. Otherwise, I'll train smithing. I think I'll train smithing this level and then heavy armor next level. I think that makes sense. Do you know what's their HP? What, Frost Atronax? No idea. Um, why do you ask? Uh, what the fuck is going on over here? Oh! It's a bunch of friggin' battle mages attacking a tiger. Wow, that, that cat had a really bad time. <laughs> oh, hey! We're at that phase of the game where we just murder random wildlife. Sorry, Mr. Fox. But your soul is worth far more to me than... Uh... Ooh! What kind of soul does an ice wraith have? I actually don't know. Well, I mean, I'm, I never fucking will know if I keep missing it. Come on. I'm going to hit it a couple of times with the mace, because this thing isn't going to die in one hit. They're really tanky. Yeah, look at that. We'll get it, whittle it down, and then uh, hit it with the... Uh, hit it with the soul trap dagger. That's good. A way off, so she's not attacking it yet. Oh, careful. Yeah, they've got massive, like, physical damage resistance, and then they're really weak against uh, magic. Okay, let's soul trap him. There we go. Ideally before Uthgird gets in and kills it. Whoops. Uthgird, if you could kill it now, that would be greatly appreciated. Ah, no. Cool, it's fine. We got it. Yeah, I'm like 99% certain that Tyrannus's greatsword will trigger and just auto-banish the, the, the summoned Atronarch, but that at least distracts him for a solid hit, which is, you know, not nothing. Uh, and it doesn't explode and kill me like a flame Atronach does. That's the only sort of big advantage that it has, really. Is that it doesn't explode upon death. Almost the same as Storm 400. Okay, that sounds about right. Um, 400 ain't a ton. Like, Tyrannus will be able to do that in one or two hits. Um, I would imagine. I guess it depends on their armor, right? Whoops, I hit the corpse. Oh, fuck. That bears loads of health. I am actually hitting the bear. It's just got so much health. Whoa. Okay, the bear hit me. That's actually fine. I much prefer the bear to hit me than Frost. Okay, there we go. Now we bust out the dagger. Hello, sir. Nice. Um, yeah. A Storm Age Arcs have better defense and better range damage because... Frost Atronarchs don't really have any range damage, but uh, Frost Atronarchs do have like a solid whack of health. Um, 
Okay, I don't have any carry weight buff. No, good. Need a ride? That means there's nothing to wear off when we head to Markarth. Climb and back and we'll be off. Sun feels good, huh? Okay, so what do I have to sell on Frost? Those two... None of that is for sale. That is. And... None of the rest of this is for sale, right? So yeah, let's load. We're not going to buy anything realistically, but we want to, yeah, lower carry weight. Okay, we want to keep the amethysts because those we're selling. Um, oh, we just filled a load of fucking graded soul gems by accident because we don't have our empty soul gems on us. Uh, you know what? We could use the we could just use the empty grands to fill like random souls, can't we? Fuck it. Yeah, we can't fill the empty grands realistically with proper grand souls, but we can fill them with like common souls, and that works just fine. Um, yeah, so let's dump a bunch of shit that I'm planning on keeping on the horse, and, uh, yeah, let's get going. Because <clears throat> we have a lot of selling to do. Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. This is the sure thing. It's yours. I'll show you. Oh, I just realized I should bring enough money to for five um five levels worth of training, shouldn't I? Because I want to do the smithing training this level, and then I want to level up because we're probably going to get a decent amount of speech experience, which might push us over the limit. Because we've gained a lot of levels since. Hitting level 16, or hitting level 17, I guess. Let me um, know if there's anything back. Else you need. So I want to level up as soon as possible. Ideally before I potentially gain a shit ton of experience from selling a lot of valuable items. Um, they say the college has been snooped. And 600 gold just ain't gonna cut it. So rude. So rude. What the fuck do you have against mages, bud? To be fair, what do mages... As far as I can tell, mages don't really do anything for the community. Like, at all, really. I guess the court wizards sort of do. But most of them are dicks. Like, are there any actually decent, competent court wizards? I mean, Sybil. I think Sybil is. She's kind of a dick, but she is at least... She at least comes across as a competent dick. Um... Kalsamo seems utterly obsessed with his research and doesn't really help anyone. Farangar is just awful. Um, Wylandria is, is useless. And Woundfirth... Okay, so, so Woundfirth does seem to be somewhat competent, but he also... Most people apparently think he's a necromancer, so... You know. He's not well trusted by the community. So, like... Who the fuck is running the PR department for the wizards in this land? Like, they just Mr. everyone hates Ray, them. It seems. It's an honorable craft. I'll show you what I can. Yeah. See. Whoa. I'm glad I. I'm glad I took the training there. Um. Okay. How much money have you got? I just gave you a load of money. I'm. I'm gonna want that Take back. Uh. Okay, swell. So, 
Let's grab whatever we can off of good. I'm still here. What do you need to take? Oh no, wrong way around. Um, so just all these like super valuable magic items. Um I'll hold on to the fire sword for now. I could enchant those two. That could be good. Uh and then stamina and wielding, those get sold as well. There's the main two. Lead on now. And uh, let's go. How about some looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Oh, uh, one, two, three. I can sell those two. Why not? Don't want to sell that. Oh no, she's got fuck all money left. Cool. All right. Then. Now then, I've got so many potions to sell. It's actually unreal. Uh, that's good. It's got a load as well. Cure is here for all your discreet needs. Come on. At some point, you're going to need to figure out I'm how stairs here. work, my lady. And why do I keep calling her my lady? Need to take? What the fuck is wrong with me? Why have I been, like, imbued with the spirit of an incel? Not an incel. The opposite. Simp. I ain't no simp in here. Lead on, then. Hey, take a look. Uh, what if I block? Yeah, we're holding on to those. 30%? Yeah, that's fine. What if I smithing is solid? Bear I actually like well enough to hold on to. Faint just ain't good enough. Honestly, fair. Probably not that good either. We've sort of upgraded to good at this point. She buys sleeping tree sap. Interesting. I thought that was still technically like an illegal drug. Um, vampire dust. It's going to be a hell of a long time before we think about doing periite. We'll be able to find more. Um nice. Okay. Now you let me know if you need it. Oh, I didn't check what she was selling, but hang on. a little bit. Ah, so you're an alchemist then. Um Fortify Resto, Fortify One Handed. I think this is the same exact set of potions that she had last time I was here. Yeah, I don't think her inventory's reset. I have to be careful. I've still got Voice of the Emperor active, right? Yeah, good. Which is making good progress. I'm surprised. It's only been like 30 seconds, apparently. I'm a fucking speed demon now. Look at this. Woo! What is my speech skill, actually? How near am I to 50? Forty-three. We're getting there. We are definitely getting there. Hey, Kaltimo, do you want to buy two staff of the ice storm so Earthgut stops using the fucking things? Come on, Earthgut. I'm still here. What do you need to take? Um. So yeah, I won't be able to buy either of those. I want to enchant those two. I don't know if I can sell that to uh, Calcimo. We'll see. Do I actually have filled soul gems? I think I dumped them all already. Yeah. Whoops. Let's go. We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? I'm not going to bother enchanting them. That's fine. We can just sell them for uh, Lead on, then. the normal amount. Good. Take a look. Uh, Spirit wolf. We don't want. And the spell terms perfection. What? Oh, goodbye. Oh fuck! No shit! Hang on. I needed to not level up there. I haven't trained this level. I was like, I just trained, but that was last level. Okay. Take two. Take two. We want to maintain that because we should be able to afford proper heavy armor training. Come on, it's good. I don't think I've got anything to break down. I'm Calselmo's nephew. I help him around the laboratory. Good for you, Akindar. Nobody asks. What do you need to take? Let's 
I don't think I can sell him the dynamite core. It didn't look like I could. But. Okay, grill. Oh, and I guess I didn't check his scrolls, but I did last time, didn't I? And his scrolls will be the same. We'll put it this way, he had six grand, which suggests to me that the scrolls... Anything I uh, purchased from him last time, his inventory hasn't reset. Because he doesn't normally have six grand. He normally has five, I think. May your neck... Mm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. What do I even have to sell this guy? Oh, introduction to Malachite, of course. Um, but let's wait Until and see time. what this girl has to, has to donate. Come on. I'm still here. What do you need to take? Uh, we're holding on to that. Those are the two I want to sell. So that we will sell first, and then that he probably won't have enough for. Lead on then. Where is he there? I'm the young mm, blades, helmets, pretty much anything. To oh, we can just wants. afford it. We'll sell that then. Fight well. We've stopped. What is it? Oh, and I'm no Let's longer over encumbered. Nice. That worked out. Okay. That's pretty much everything I wanted to sell. I'm going to double check Calcimo because we've got plenty of time. Uh, ooh, I should head down to Lisbeth as well to sell her the Dynamo Core, if nothing else. <clears throat> Possible to tell which one's Calcimo. It's really annoying. Uh, but, but, uh, no, he didn't have rank 2. Yes, yes, That's what I was looking for. Because we're completely out of not rank 2 right now, which is a shame. Okay, um, Lisbeth, Lisbeth was where I was going, that's it. <clears throat> yeah, so I think, I think heavy armor is definitely our next priority. Did you hear all that noise outside? It's mm. just the market travel. Oh, Although one-handed, no. I'm, I'm honestly hands. torn between heavy armor and one-handed. So yeah, dynamo core, then the crossbow, then anything else which she can buy. I think that's everything, right? Introduction to Malachite. Damn, she can afford that as well. Nice. Okay, cool. That's the lot. Thank you, Elizabeth. You there. If you're here to trade, step up to the counter. Good afternoon, fellow non-cannibal. How are you? Don't you enjoy not eating human flesh today? Yes? Mm, good, 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 good. Glad we had this talk. I will see you again at the next coven me I, I mean, um, the next uh, gather gathering of people who don't eat human flesh. Uh, friend, don't friend, non-cannibal. See for yourself. Yeah, fuck it, I can't be bothered. Come back when you need more meat. Bring more. Hello, fellow non-cannibal. Hope you have a good time not eating human flesh. <laughs> God, it's a good thing there's so many fellow non-cannibals in that city, isn't it? Loads and loads of people who don't like eating human flesh. Okay, so these are going into my inventory now. Yeah, we're fucking over encumbered again, of course we are. Um, I want to equip that. Starters. Hello? There we go. Um, why are we so over encumbered? Oh. Every time I forget that. I'm like, why am I so over encumbered? And then I realise I'm sitting on 12 grand. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's a good enough reason. And now, I almost forgot the entire point of coming here. Which was Forbidden Legend. Um... I was about to leave. I was about to go all the way back to fucking Whiterun. Uh, this quest is quick. So, you know what? 
been about an hour. In fact, I think it's been slightly more. Time for another cup of tea. I'm thirsty. And my tea is gone. Very, very cold. There's still a little bit left. I didn't finish it, but whatever. Uh, I will be back very shortly. Don't go anywhere.